Hello everyone, my name is Li Ting Chen. I come from Taipei, Taiwan. I'm currently working in Asia Cybersecurity Incorporation as a security researcher, but mainly my job is like a pen tester. I help my client find vulnerabilities within their organizations, uh, infrastructures, and the web applications. Before this job, I was a research assistant and became a software developer for many years. You may want to know why I changed my career. Remember there was a crisis happened in 2017, which is the WannaCry crisis, and many big main companies in Taiwan were affected too. And since then, I find myself really interested in these attack defense things. So I decided to start my master's degree in information security. And luckily, I started it in the UK. That's the reason why I'm here. It's very hard to say how many hours I'm spending on operation for the incident. All I remember is I spend every, uh, every minute afterwards during my vacation time, during my holiday times. And uh, every time I wake up, I just started, prepared, and did I left again and again. Yes, and that lifestyle lasts for at least three to four months until I feel, okay, it's time to tackle them. Yes, and during preparation times, I have uh, uh, very good lectures. He was very kind and very patient to guide us. And we also formed a study group. Yes, we help each other to clear our confusions and uh, we encourage each other. Yeah, and uh, I also very highly recommend the materials from EC Council. It's, it's very comprehensive and very thoroughly materials. Um, I think even you don't talk about them, the material is still worth reading. The CPAN program is introduced by my co-workers. Yes, my co-workers work in different teams, but they all have a certificate from EC Council. They are various, for example, the famous uh, CH, CND, and CHFI. So they highly recommend it to take a course uh, from EC Council. Before I make my decisions, I did my uh, research online and feel very surprised about the good reputation, EC Council's good re reputations. And uh, I aware and uh, noticed that the course is well organized that cover the hack skills in depth. So yeah, so I, I feel I learned a lot from this course than I expect. I would say CPA exam is really, really difficult to me because it has wide range and apart from web expectation, I really have day-to-day -day experiences in the rest of sector. And in the reality, low status belongs to different teams. But on the other hand, there will be your knowledge gap. So I spend tons of time to fill this gap up and learn much more than I said. I would say the more you're familiar with those tactics you told in the CPAN course, the better chance that you can get to overcome those challenges in the exam. And during the exam, it's very easy to feel stuck and uh, frustrated, but don't give up, try another approach, try to think outside the box and go deeper. There are three things I like CPAN program. The first one is, it's about hands-on experience. So uh, you are given a wide range of topics, a network, and you use any tools to collect information from those target machines, and it will help you to plan attacking strategy. Uh, the, the second reason is all tools are allowed in the exam. There's some restriction, which is great. The third reason is you are given two options. The first one is 24 hours to finish the exam. The other is uh, 212 uh, exam period. I choose the second one because I feel uh, sleep is important. Sleep can help you to reboot your brain and refresh your focus. So it's helpful for you to analyze your collected data and it will make me feel overwhelmed. I love iLab. I feel iLab is a good place for learning uh, to learn those concepts and prove their idea. In iLab, everything is well explained and uh, the instructor, uh, instructors 
detailed each step and explained everything you should know. For me, I don't like talking the talk. I feel、uh, actions speak louder than words, so I spend the majority time in a lab than spending than the time I spend in reading those material. Yes, and I also feel a lab is a good place for learning and to build their、uh, approaching strategies. I use many tools、uh, in my job, but it really depends on the target machine you are going to crack. And、uh, there are three tools I definitely will use in my day-to-day -day life. The first one is、uh, a map. I use a map to see what kind of service my target machine are、uh, currently open. The second is Wireshark. I use Wireshark to analyze the current network status. The third one is、uh, Bersuit. Yeah, Bersuit is very useful. You can use it to intercept the、uh, uh, response and use that to、um, modify a request. And you can use it to do a brute force attack too. Yeah. So those tools are used a lot in my、uh, task. The CPM program is、uh, interesting and the journey is fruitful. I learned so many skills and the knowledge from the beginning of the course.、Uh, it's given me a chance to familiar with those tools and vulnerabilities that I don't have a chance to explore in my daily life. It's also helped me to go deeper with the tools I already know. So it's flat my learning curve and reduce my time and effort. The advice I'm going to give to someone who is preparing the exam, there are several, and、uh, the first and foremost is ILAB. Repeating doing ILAB is important. Use ILAB to、uh, get familiar with the tools you are going to use, clear your、uh, confusions, and build your strategy. I remember I did at least、uh, twice or、uh, twice or three times of each I lab before I taking the exam. So I lab is very helpful. And then Google, Google is your friend. Google is allowed. So and、uh, every time you encounter any difficulties during the exam, try to Google it. The third is taking note of everything you collect from the target machine. Yes, including a screenshot for your report. And the last, if you choose a two twelve exam hours, then we'll use the gap between the two exams. That's all my advice, and good good luck for all of you.